for the serious gamer. Hey guys, Kiwi here, and um, today I'll be showing you my Minecraft re creation. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little introduction here while I mess around with the lava and water. Uh, first of all, before I forget, you might be wondering how I got water, lava, and fire. I used Indivedit, so inventory edit. It's called Indivedit for short, if you can figure that out, um, which is where I found them. This is my creation, or my house. It's a uh, pretty much a house that I made of gold, glass, and diamond blocks, <coughs> which branches off and and, uh, <coughs> sorry, I, this is post-commentary if you can tell, and, uh, sorry, I was just getting distracted by me burning farm animals, I, I'm not sure why, so, sorry if I get off topic, but this game, there's just so many things that can distract me and make me forget what I was talking about, so, here, this is the first floor of my house, the main level, that's called a jukebox, if you don't know. You can put records on them and play them. There's actually only two records that you can play currently. That one's called Cat, which I'm going to be playing for the majority of the video. Sorry if you don't like that. Um, here I'm just showing my inventory and <coughs> storage. Uh, so this is these are my mine cave systems or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I probably thought I was going to die there, actually, on my edit, so I wouldn't take fall damages, fall damage, because I honestly hate it when I die from falling. Um, I don't always do it, just sometimes, so I cut out the climb back up, because honestly, you guys wouldn't want to see that, it took probably about a minute. Um, so I haven't finished those other cave shafts, but I'll be doing them later. This is kind of like my incinerator, so basically I just throw anything in there that I don't want, and it incinerates it. Uh, I had to put cobblestone around because originally I put wood stupidly and it caught on fire and I thought I was going to burn my house down because before this was made of uh, wood, but then I changed it to diamond. Uh, right here is a mob spawner. It spawns piggies. Originally I thought it spawned enemies, but ended up spawning pigs. Uh, once again, found that from Invedit. I N V edit. Uh, I, just I just showed more of my... Uh, chest that I store stuff with. There's, that's just, that room's just a worthless library with two more jukeboxes in it. Once again, sorry if you don't like this music, but whatever. A pig probably spawned in this room because there was enough room in the spawning room. So this is the second floor. Uh, actually, I couldn't think of anything. Wait, no, that's, that goes up to the floor floor. As I was saying, I couldn't think of anything to put here because the problem with Minecraft is that there's only so much things you can put in rooms. I guess I could put like a fake TV there made out of obsidian and gravel, and then I could have probably made a bed, but you know, whatever. Um, this is my glass hallway to glass spectating room. I'm actually not sure if that's what it said on the sign because I'm recording my commentary in Sony Vegas and I can't really see a screen too well. So um, what I'm pointing at right now is actually my spawn, as you can see by the compass. If you know what the compass does, it points you towards your spawn. Um, this glass spectating place was kind of easy to make. Uh, I just used a sneak feature, which I'll be showing later, that lets you go to the edge of the block without falling off, and then I just put water on top of it. I will put water on top of this hallway. Um, what I was just showing there is that you actually can't put glass on, uh, can't put glass, can't put torches on glass, so I had to put gold blocks, uh, in the hallway so I could light it up. This is my tree house. God. So much stuff to talk about, and not enough time to talk about it. Um, this is my tree house. This is... I just put a little walk away there so I could get to the torches if I ever want to change it. This is a little lookout tower to see back there. I was curious. Um, so I made this as I just planted a crap load of trees beside each other and then dug it out. And then used um, planks to fill in the blanks. I grimed unintentionally. Uh, one thing that I don't like about tree forts or tree houses is that sometimes the leaves, like the branches, spawn back. Branches. Whatever, they spawn back and 
as you can see right here, I'm trying to put them away. I think the cause of that is they spawn beside logs, so I ch or the tree trunk. Uh, I try to get rid of that whenever I can, but obviously I miss some. I just cut that out because you probably didn't want to see me digging away at this tree. Uh, that's just a little window. Eventually, I'm going to light up uh, all the ground so that you can see it. Or I just might leave it uh, blank so during the night I can just look at all the enemies and be like, Holy shit, I'm going to go down there. Um, this is just a little balcony. Uh, the cat song ended, so I start playing this, which... It's not really a song. Like, if you've ever heard of those noises that you, that you sometimes find when you're uh, in caves, I'm not sure if that means if it's near a natural cave or if you found an enemy spawner, but that's pretty much what this is, just over and over again, just eerie noises that aren't songs. Eventually, I do end up changing and going back to the cat song. <laughs> You saw right there that sheep actually climbed up the ladder because I was pushing it up there. I never knew that animals can climb up the ladders. Does that mean that enemies can climb up ladders? I don't know. Uh, this is the third, this is my third floor of my house. This is just a little walkway up to on top of that glass hallway that I had. Once again, I'm showing my spawn for reasons I'm not sure of. I guess it was just I thought that you guys wouldn't be able to see it before, but you probably still can't see my spawn now. I actually put like a little pillar. Uh, I can't I can't think of the word right now. Sorry. So right here, I'm like, oh, screw this. I hate this music, so I end up going and changing it. I don't know why I keep on calling it music. It's not music. It's creepy noises. I guess it could really get you into the feel of the game, but I prefer to be happy and not creeped out um, when I'm playing games, which makes no sense since I play games like Dead Rising 2, which I actually just picked up before I started doing this commentary, so I'm really eager to stop to start playing that. Um, so back up to the third story, I've already showed you that. Um, Showing you that a bit later. This is actually another mob spawner built uh, room that I made. Uh, you saw the sheep on the floor before, on uh, the bomb floor. That's actually because I'm pretty sure animals can only spawn on grass, so yeah, that's pretty much why. Uh, right here is my roller coaster. I, not really a roller coaster, just a mine cart track to somewhere else. Which, come on, hurry up. There we go. So I thought this was pretty cool, and I just basically this track was just me testing out the physics of minecart tracks. This is actually the first one that I've ever made. Um, you see, if you're wondering why there's uh, other minecarts there, they're actually called they actually boost my uh, minecart up to maximum speed. Uh, for some, I'm saying uh a lot. Sorry about that. But pretty much, for some reason, um, when two minecarts go next to each other, they go to full speed. And I use that instead of using powered minecarts because uh, I just hate using those. Saw right there the end of the. Uh, damn it, I'm saying not too much. The end of the minecart track actually led to another glass hall. But I cut out the walkway back, um, because, I don't know, I just, I haven't shown it yet, I didn't want you to be confused or confuzzled, if you didn't, is confuzzled a word? I don't know if confuzzled a word, um, I didn't want you to be confused or anything, even though I don't see why you would be unless you're a five-year-old. Right there, if you were wondering what I was doing, I was actually checking to see if there was a sign there, apparently I deleted it when I was editing the room that leads to this, but the sign pretty much said... Um, God, what did it say? It said something like, Glass Hallway to Niagara Falls. If you're wondering, what, Niagara Falls? What the hell are you talking about, Kiwi? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, bad habit. First, I say basically a lot, and now I say um a lot. Damn. So as you can see here, this is where the my minecart track ended. So, you're not missing out on much. Right here, you can see 
uh, blown up hills with water flowing from the top of them. And if you're wondering how that happened, I was testing TNT, so I blew up a couple mountains. And then I decided, hey, this would be cool if I flooded it for some reason. Um, so that's, that's what I did right here. <laughs> I was showing you the sneak move that I said I would. This, it let, I think I already told you this, but it lets you go far. Yeah, I'll just show you right here. Let's you go as far off from a block as you can without actually falling off, and then if you release the button, it does that. I show you in third person. If you look over to my right there, while well, I'm showing you this in third person, now my left, you can see that that part I actually forgot to flood. So sorry about that. Um, this this part of the glass hall is just a closer up sight of the Niagara Falls, as I call it. I don't know why I call it Niagara Falls. It's not really that interesting or look at all like Niagara Falls. I just I don't know. So I cut off I cut off <sighs> I am so sorry guys. Um I cut the walk back because once again you guys probably didn't want to see that. If you're wondering what the hell's up there, well that's what we're going to next. We're going to the roof. Uh, that that's pretty much my I guess you could call it a light tower or a light I don't know what to call it Wait, let's just call it a light tower even though that's not it at all so the reason why I did this was because if I ever got lost I, I could just put the render distance on far and even during the night I'd be able to see it because uh, the lava glows, right? It's a lit, it's a light source. So I'm just climbing up here. If you're wondering how I did this, uh, I did this by jumping and then placing a block underneath me and did that repeatedly, and then used the sneak, used the sneak move to build blocks beside them in midair. So it's not like I built to the very top and then fell off and built, jump, built all the way and then just lead it all the ones up underneath this that's pretty much it I guess so I know that my commentary isn't the best but I just wanted to show you this because I took a lot of time into this and as you can see there the video ended but yeah I took a lot of time into this and I just thought that I should share it with you guys so yeah that's pretty much it see ya